Peace family. Welcome to another topic of discussion. Um, this is Claire Brown. <laughs> Many of you know me already. Uh, I wanted to bring up a new, um, a very serious matter that has become um, something that needs to be addressed. Uh, it is called the, it is the end and the, the, um, the end of a cycle of a tyrannical patriarchal system that has just ended and um, the beginning of a new cycle, which is led by divine feminine consciousness sweeping in. But we need to address a lot of the systemic issues in the um, the passing away of the, the patriarch, uh, old parasitic vampiric system. What I'm noticing in many of the metaphysical communities, uh, also the um, quote unquote conscious community, they've been dominated by parasitic vampiric males who um, main agenda is feeding, ciphering information from archaic systems that they had zero to do with and um, holding platforms, uh, discussing things that are non-relative to the progression and also to the, um, to the inlet of the divine feminine coming into a home court advantage. I find it very challenging and very um, interesting that a lot of the platforms where a lot of these vampiric type males who have held a position of hierarchy, high hierarchy in their system of engaging with others, especially out to you guys in the world, has been sustaining itself still, even with the demise of the patriarch. I would say this, you know, there are some signs of being able to discern. I think maybe there's some issues with those holding on to uh, feeding these entities and their egos um, or um, supporting their their agenda based on the fact that, um, you know, in the past cycles, there's been a lot of, you know, disengagement of information, especially regarding the feminine, um, the feminine aspect of metaphysics. Uh, the sisterhood has been demolished and um, destroyed uh, for the last couple hundred um, years. And with the new cleansing divine feminine energy coming, sweeping the planet, what I notice is that the old system is trying its hardest to really stay hell bent on holding themselves in a position of hierarchy over any females. And I want to, I want to give some signs <laughs> for those who may uh, not be acknowledge or not know what these vampiric type of tyrannical parasitic patriarchs that are still out here, um, engaging in the matrix with, uh, you know, with, with a sword and a fist. Many of them will claim to be some of the signs that these are parasitic males. Many of them will claim to be can't claim to be um, alpha males. That is one of their main um, quote unquote um, uh, archetypes. They, they will generally call themselves um, alpha males. And you know, for those in the metaphysical who are sound in metaphysical or occult or in um, the divine field of uh, you know pagan studies, you, we understand that. Um, all beings have the capability of upholding certain, uh, certain energies at particular points when the foundation or the environment around them is cohesive to that alchemically, um, uh, alchemically holding, uh, a certain chemistry so that whatever is engaged in that environment has to hold the stance. This, that being said is that if someone consistently states that they're alpha male, the consensus is, is that their general environment is only being um, dominated by um, males that are subsidiary to that alpha, what he's called himself an alpha, meaning that he's only surrounded himself, in, for lack of better terms, by weak, weaker beings that are highly able to be manipulated or dominated. And, um, and I don't want to use weaker because sometimes it's just a matter of night. I like to maybe say night na naivety, um, meaning that the beings that this quote unquote parasitic male is calling himself 
if he's distinguishing himself as an alpha, he is surrounded. And, it, and if alpha, alpha is what he is being viewed as, it is because his alchemical environment is allowing for him to hold that stance. If you take that being out of the environment with passive or naivety beings and put them in a pool with others to the same degree of knowledge or information or paralysis, that so-called alpha will also change into a beta and it will fold under the, in a different alchemical environmental situation, meaning the environment has changed. Now this alpha is amongst others of same tier level or above he will fall into line and he will no longer hold that archetype as alpha. Why am I stating this? Because we have a lot of parasitic vampiric type of beings out here who are claiming to be alphas or, you know, masters at something or, um, you know, um, you know, holding themselves as being almost, you know, uh, the, the, you know, the king pen, uh, <laughs> And their platforms are only based on their information, their, their, um, their expertise, uh, their opinion, um, their research, and that is highly imbalanced. Okay. In all societies where it's balanced and holistic and healthy, you have a balance of tiers, um, of different characters, um, that uphold their position, but within a healthy balance of those beings in their outer or in their, um, in their tribe based. What I'm noticing with these parasitic type of males that are holding these platforms in all different arenas, I mean, in metaphysics and the UFO community, in the, um, esoteric community, esoteric communities, in the comedic communities in the quote unquote conscious, you know, melanin dominant conscious communities, um, in the holistic community and the vegan communities, I noticed that there is, uh, a lot of the same banter, um, a lot of the same criteria as far as being very manipulative, very domineering and non acknowledging of other energies, um, or allowing those energies to show up, um, to sit comfortably in even leveling of the being who's claiming to be. These uh, parasitic uh, entities coming from the old patriarch that are holding these platforms, I would say just, I would like for a lot of our sea stars to be very mindful of feeding um, these beings. Also, um, I don't, I question the humanity and the, um, this, the, um, the, uh, the, <laughs> the humanness of these beings. I've seen some of them in forms that are not very human. Uh, you know, I, and again, I, you know, I don't have to blow spots, you know, years to use your discernment. I just want to give you tools to be able to, uh, be able to spot these parasitic and vampiric type of patriarchal males and be able to protect yourself and also keep a safe distance. Listen, I always believe, not believe, I always know it's best to not throw the baby out with bathwater. I've gotten the best intel information from those who maybe would not fit in the criteria of my cipher or my frequency or vibration, my vibratory patterns. But for the most part, I'm seeing an overwhelming amount of our wonderful sea stars who are being victimized by these tyrannical parasitic vampiric males. If a male is beautiful and divine and is balanced with his divine female, you will see all aspects of that. A holistic male, if a father, especially those who have fathered seeds of their own, you will always see or witness his seeds within his platform or around his platform or spoken in, of in his platform. Any male to the negation of his family or seedlings that he has manifested into fruition um, by having children of his own and you not seeing them or hearing about them or him noting them is a sign of a parasitic male. All healthy divine males, all um, holistic divine males uphold their seeds to the highest standard and always incorporate them 
in their very being, in their very life, in their very tribe. A negation of any children w around these males is a sign that they're highly vampiric and parasitic. Some would say, well, maybe they're protecting their children and so on. That is the case. I do agree. Maybe not all um, beings want to put their children out in placement, but, and, but the fact of the matter is in a lot of these parasitic platforms, vampiric type of males have zero conversation regarding children or rearing of children or siring children or of their, um, their, um, their criteria of what it is to be a divine uh, placement in their child's life. That is a sign of a parasite. That is a sign of a vampiric being. Only males who give birth or manifest children into manifestation who have nothing to do with them, speak nothing of them, and have no uh, qualified conversation about uh, the very nature of being a parent is a sign that he is unwell and most likely a, a sociopath or a narcissist, which is all criteria for being an, an, uh, a um, parasite or a vampire. Again, uh, that is one of the criteria of a parasitic and a, a, a vampiric type of being, patriarch. Another quality that you will see in a lot of these parasitic, vampiric, patriarchs is that they have a negation of their female they will there's two things that they may do and what i've noticed is a new trend that they are tending to do is calling the female um god or saying that the the, the divine female is their god or that they'll call the earth their um their matron or their mother that is a new trend that i'm seeing alongst the line of a lot of these males in the esoteric whole uh you know uh holistic or uh conscious quote unquote conscious community is that they're always saying that the you know uh in the brown in the melanin dominant brown community they'll you'll hear the male say the black woman is god is is this is one of their mantras but to all of their information and all of their uh what they are putting out to you there's a negation of that based on the fact that you never see any females on their platforms not speaking and if you hear females on their platforms they're not to the same intellect to their own stature, meaning that I've seen platforms where males will have a female all the time, maybe a female, one female occasionally who shows up or shows up much, but she is not to the same intellectual stature or to the same cognitive stature of that male who's the domineering quote unquote alpha male, meaning that she is maybe holding a position to show that, oh, I have, look at that divine female I have, but she's not even to the equal, equal level of cognitive and, and intellectual stature of the male that's holding the platform that's probably taking and ciphering her platform for themselves. She may seem very limited cognitively. Um, he may dominate the conversation the entire time on um, speaking or any platform that he's upholding. And that is also a sign of a parasite showing, you know, black, you know, the, the quote unquote, uh, labeling in the conscious, so-called conscious community in the black community is, um, and I don't like to use black because black is black. So the melanin dominant community is the black woman is God. That's what they say. They use the word black, black woman is God. And they'll say that, but you'll see a negation of that anywhere. They will never uphold any woman, any female who is of that equally in intellect or consciousness or supersedes theirs, which is also a sign that they're not quote unquote alphas. They're only alphas in an alchemical situation that is conducive to them, meaning that they have a whole bunch of, you know, um, drones or, uh, or beings that are, are very zombie-like or very in admiration of them. So they're passive so that this being is able to hold an alpha status only in that alchemical situation. I just mentioned that. So the negation of the female, the divine feminine is always present. If she is present, she is of a passive level, not to the same or equal um, divinity. And she's always utilized as a PR to them supposedly being um, holistic or conscious or upholding the divine feminine or ciphering her energy or her platform, depending on if that being is taking a platform that may be that female's taking her platform, utilizing it for herself. So just showing them just based on the fact that that um, 
they want to utilize their resources for themselves. Also sign of a parasitic vampiric male. Another quality of these parasitic vampiric beings, uh, males, patriarchs, I want to say the parasitic patriarch because I don't want to label males. There's a lot of beautiful, holistic, um, and I will say a lot, but there is a presence of wonderful divine male energy that is showing up. It's very supportive. It's very nurturing. It's very fatherly. It's very incorporated, uh, incorporate, uh, corporate, uh, corporative of, um, of family, children, elders, another quality that I will speak about of a parasitic and a, and a, and a vampiric patriarch is a lack of, um, of respect for elders and a lack of, um, referencing or giving credence or, um, or giving honor and, uh, and, and, um, honor to elders that they've learned from or that have, uh, they have been, um, under the tutelage of, or that they have seen that have, uh, you know, that have helped in rearing them. There is a lack of conversation about elders. There's a lack of respect. Like if you hear a being, and this will be a sign that he is a parasitic or a vampiric male, is if he has stated something about an elder that publicly, especially about some of our wonderful elders that have done so much to um, help and assist us and our raising of our consciousness and vibration. If you ever hear critical um, conversations or judgment or um, or, or uh, disparaging statements about an elder who obviously was someone that many of us have looked up to publicly, that is a sign of a parasitic male. Many of the parasitic, many, many of those who are upholding the parasitic, the old regime of the parasitic vampiric males are archaic and they give no credence to anything outside of themselves, highly narcissistic, and they will criticize and, and censure those elders who came before them that laid the platform for them. Um, you will never see honor or to them. They will always say, you know, I've seen platforms in, in the metaphysical community where they will honor every other ancestor except their own. The first ancestors that we are to give honor to is our direct ancestors who gave birth, who gave birth to us and in, in, in manifest, who manifested us into um, reality. So if I'm to give honor on, you know, if, if I had an altar or I was giving honor, the first honor and, um, and acknowledgement I give is to my direct ancestors. I give, I give honor to my mother and father who have given birth to me. I give, um, I give honor and ashe to my grandmother, ashe to my aunt, um, Julia, ashe to, um, grandfather, um, Pierre, we give honor to our own. Whenever you see parasitic males, they never give honor to their own divine. They never give honor to their own genealogy. They always give honor to others that they consider to hold, uphold some sort of power or credence or leverage in society. That's also a sign, um, a, a banishment, a non-acknowledgement or a disrespect to, um, to the elders. And I have to say, sea stars, we are at a pinnacle point where we're going back into our first cycle. The, uh, a, a new cycle of the divine feminine going back into her state of being. A lot of healing is occurring and a lot of information is coming out to assist in allowing for the healing. And what we need to do is join with one another without judgment. Now, mind you, not all are the same. And I'm not saying we should join with those who are in violation because there are those sea stars who are definitely um, have been contracted by the patriarch, the sick, uh, diabolical, uh, vampiric uh, patriarch who are down for them before they are down for their sea stars. They, they put more credence on their relationships with these parasitic males, meaning that they're violators of children and families, you know, home wreckers. When I say home wreckers, these are women who have no conscious being. They are very competitive. They lack compassion for other females. They are very competitive with other females. They see fem females only as their competitors. Uh, they will violate the family status of another female based on 
um, you know, having relations with someone who is engaged in a marriage and so on. Those females who are violators of the divine by nature, by very nature of their actions, should also be put in the same category with the parasitic, um, parasitic uh, patriarch and vampiric patriarch. They are under the dominion of the old patriarch and they will only come into your cipher under the guise of being a true sister and they will come in just to disseminate the situation cause chaos and um basically um you know create a coup within your wonderful um you know wonderful new creations um that we're trying to create with sisterhood so we need to be mindful that not all sis sisters females are also rolling with the divine feminine higher consciousness and we need to put them in a category with those and you know put them sidebar them with those patriarchal um parasitic males all to say i don't want to come from a place of judgment but we need to uh come together cohesively divine feminine and also divine male we at the end of the day divine feminine consciousness is coming in sweeping in the planet and cleaning and cleansing and and uh, really, um, you know, uh, creating a cohesive uh, balance to Mother Tiamat. But also at the end of the day, the divine male will come in sync with the divine feminine. And um, at that point, we will be engaged in unity consciousness. And that is where, uh, that is actually the goal of uh, the divine feminine coming in and sweeping the planet. A healing, a cleansing, and also um, to eventually merge with divine male to make us one once again holistic so i just wanted to give some criteria to some of these parasitic males um and vampiric male especially the platforms P please divine female you are your greatest gift or enemy and if we are going to get to the point of building rebuilding our sisterhood we have to be able to discern friend from foe and by engaging or uplifting or giving credence to those who are um, in direct um, conflict or direct violation of the divine feminine, you are too responsible for the demise of the sisterhood. We need to be more cohesive, more loving. And when I say loving, not kumbaya, not unrealistic, just honoring of the divine healing going on and assist each sea star. Now, I'm not going to judge all females that were also engaged in the, in the sick di diabolical patriarch, but we need to also understand that if those do not, uh, those of our own gender are choosing to side with a patriarch that is archaic and passing away because that old system is done you can go down with the ship we've already sailed with our um with our new sailboats onto the new um onto the new earth you can you can rock with the old patriarch but just know that when you do that you will go and get what is coming to them there is a consequence karmically to those who have upheld um, heinousness, those who have hurt children and, and babies. That's what I'm saying. When we're talking about the parasitic male and we're talking about the, the vampiric patriarch, he is the one that has allowed children to be, um, he is the, 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 per, the being, and I say being, you know, the, the energies that has allowed children to be massacred, for children to be stolen, raped, and for all these sex trade businesses to uh, be, come into fruition. This is uh, the, the dastardly being that is allowed for animals and cattle and, um, you know, all beautiful divine creatures existing on peacefully on Mother Timot to be killed massively, eaten, tortured, um, and, uh, you know, kill to the point where um, all of our balance, our nature is out of balance. Um, these are also the beings, the old patriarch, uh, parasitic patriarch, who has okayed for our trees, uh, de deforest deforestization of our entire planet. We need to get rid, to be rid of this old energy. And if you are going to uphold that, then I have to leave you where you are. We need to join together. And in that unity, like I said, you can have one finger and it can do nothing. You take a whole finger on a whole hand and you create a fist, maybe even two fists of whole fingers. And we have a lot more power together. 
Let's get it together, divine female. Please uphold your position in your divine um, higher self and start to take care of aspects of self. Please try to avoid feeding these entities that have fed off the divine energy. And please do try to avoid having sexual liaisons with them because that's another thing that's going on with these parasitical males. They're utilizing sexual rituals to use your yoni magic, your, your sacred energy to be able to manifest more madness in the matrix. You have power over their dominion now and you will be supported by Mother Tiamat and the energies of the planet if you are living in your divine self and holistically and in balance of Mother Tiamat. And again, with the divine feminine, again, with um, a goal of bringing ourselves back to a holistic state of being and also merging with our divine, beautiful males. And this is not a...